Hello and welcome to the episode 236 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Lots of live gigs, three days of rest and a transcendental meeting are the main focuses of today's show. Let's start the episode with the 1960 residency the Beatles were having at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. The band, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed their eighth night in the venue. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now a quartet with Pete Best still on drums and Paul McCartney on bass, played the St. John's Hall in Liverpool. As usual, the night had been booked through Pete's mother, Mona. In 1962, we find the Beatles, now with their new drummer Ringo Starr, performing a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club, and then, at night, at the Majestic Ballroom in Birkenhead. Finally, to conclude the part of this episode devoted to live performances, we have the Fabs busy with the final of six consecutive engagements at the Gaumont Cinema in Burnmouth. It was 1963. Now, instead, it's time to thank those of you that are helping me grow our little community here by sharing the episodes on their social media. Only a minute of your time to cut and paste the link of this show on Facebook, Reddit or whatnot, and, in exchange, I promise to keep going on creating the best music-related content I can. And if you want to do more, as usual, you can check out www.simonmas.com support and see what you can do. Do we have a deal? On the 24th of August 1964, the Beatles enjoyed a day of rest from touring, practically locked into a rented house in Bel Air, California. John Lennon, assistant Neil Aspinall and press manager Derek Taylor tried to break the siege of the fans surrounding the house and did manage to get out, but then John was recognized and they had to rush back home. The four only managed to go out for a private charity party for the Hemophilia Foundation of Southern California, held in the afternoon at the Bel Air home of Capitol Records president Alan Livingston. Almost the same story in 1965, with the Fabs having a day of rest in another Californian house, this time in Beverly Hills. During the day, they were visited by a number of people, like actress Eleanor Braun, who had starred in Help, Roger McGinn and David Crosby of The Birds, and, most memorably, actor Peter Fonda. John Lennon and George Harrison had taken LSD for the second time during the day, introducing Ringo Starr to the drug. As it happened, George was panicking when Fonda came to visit, thinking that he was going to die. Fonda, who had experience with the drug, tried to calm him down, telling George he knew what it was like to die from an accident he had when he was only 10. John Lennon overheard the story and went on writing about the episode in He Said, He Said, which later became She Said, She Said. In 1966, the Beatles had another day off from their last North American tour, different house, still Beverly Hills. After arriving in the early hours of the day, the band relaxed after what had been their most difficult tour to date, meeting Derek Taylor, who by this time had left England and started to work as press officer for The Birds, The Mamas and The Papas, Van Dyke Parks, The Beach Boys and others. Once again, the Fabs attended a party at the house of Capitol Records' Alan Livingston, like they had in 1964. This time, the party was in their honor, though. Back in UK in 1967, George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and their partners met Maharishi Mahesh Yoji during a lecture in London. Ringo Starr and his wife Maureen gave it a miss, busy as they were with their newly born, Jason. After the lecture, there was a press conference for the Fabs, followed by a 90-minute private meeting with the Yoji. George, John and Paul, along with Ringo, decided to follow Maharishi Bangor, Wales, 
for a weekend of transcendental meditation study with him. Plans for a recording session at the De Leng Lia Studios had to be cancelled, forcing EMI to pay the £45 cancellation charge, about £800 in 2020 money. One year later, in 1968, John Lennon and Yoko Ono went live on London Weekend Television, a new ITV station, between 6.45 and 7.30 pm. Along with singer Blossom Derry and daughter Stan Freberg, the two were guests of Frost on Sunday. They explained to a cautious David Frost and to the live audience their views on art and the value of public participation in the art form, talking about You Are Here, their exhibition that we covered in episode 182 of this very podcast. This concludes today's episode. Tomorrow, we'll see how the work on Abbey Road ended. Join me for this and other stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.